Hey everyone, today we're going to go for a drive and we're going to show you what the new autopilot system looks like in firmware 9 or software version 9 uh, that I just got yesterday. Um, yesterday I did, uh, well late last night I did a video where I went out uh, driving late at night and unfortunately there were some things that were conspiring against me, maybe it was a little bit rushed. Um, first of all, I was using a USB key that was uh, rather small, 2 gigabytes, and it was just something I had in the drawer and I don't think the quality was the best because when I was editing the video, one of the things I noticed is that every time it wrote a new file, this is talking about the Tesla dash cam, which is one of the things we're going to look at here today again, that every time it wrote a new file, it would drop several frames out of the system. So it was very frustrating editing the video last night to try to get everything to line up. So this time I've got a much higher quality USB key. This is 32 gigabytes. It's also USB 3. Not that it really matters at the end of the day whether it's USB 3 or not, because the car only really is USB 2, but faster write speeds uh, should hopefully help with the drop frame thing. So for editing purposes, uh, I'm hoping that it's better. The other part too is I've replaced the dash cam. Well, not the dash cam, but the camera that I have pointed at the instrument cluster. I apologize. It was very low quality. It's, it was one of those older GoPros. So today, thank you very much for our Patreon supporters. I went and bought a new one. So this is much, much higher quality. So I'm going to take this USB key. I'm going to plug it in and uh, we'll get going. So I'm going to put the USB key in and I'll make sure that the dash cam icon comes up. Still waiting. There it is. Okay, so it finally showed up and uh, it's red, so it's actually recording. So uh, let's get the show on the road. One of the things I noticed last night when I was driving was that the neural network system was definitely struggling at night to make a distinction between all of the cars. Now, the new neural network that's running on here is able to distinguish people, small sedans, SUVs, trucks, semi-trucks, and motorcycles. But last night when I was out, it was really touch and go. Most of the time, everything was um, an, um, a sedan. Today, when I was driving around, we still have some sunlight here, so I'm gonna take a little drive, we'll go out on the highway, and you'll see how much better it actually is. Now, I don't know if it's a combination of the neural network not being 100%, or the low light conditions, or the quality of the cameras that Tesla is using in the car. But during the day, it, much, it makes a much better, uh, it does a much better job at, at distinguishing between uh, the different vehicles. So we're just gonna hop on the highway here and we'll run into some cars. So if you uh, watch the screen, you'll be able to see uh, the system rendering uh, different vehicles that it detects. The other thing too is able to confirm, of course, that the system is now using uh, the B-pillar cameras, which are the ones between the doors, the side repeater cameras, those are the ones in the blinkers, and also the rear camera now for vehicle de uh, detection, because it's all part of the blind spot monitoring system. You'll see that in the screen, of course, um, when we come up to vehicles or other cars that come up behind me, they'll be properly rendered on the screen. Uh, we'll also go out on the highway and we'll do some autopilot driving. So uh, we'll do the um, auto steer. <clears throat> we'll do some lane changes, of course. The other thing that's not part of this uh, release, as I mentioned last night's video, so in case you haven't watched it, I'll put a link in the video description. You can watch it for yourself. But they withheld the drive on, <clears throat> excuse me, the drive on nav, which is being uh, able to type in a destination on your screen and have the car automatically change lanes and stuff. So we're not going to be able to show that until they release that in a uh, future point release. Again, Tesla said that they are uh, working on that a little bit longer. So they decided to withheld, withhold it from this version of the software release. So we're coming up um, to some lights here. You'll see that there's an SUV here on my left hand side. Um, Hopefully it's properly rendered. Yeah, it is. Sorry, my camera's in the way here, so I can't exactly see the screen. And there's a small SUV. So obviously it's making a much better, it's doing a much better job at, um, at seeing the different vehicles around me compared to last night. Once in a while you'll see the system gets a little jittery. It's not too sure what's behind me. And so you'll see cars in your blind spots when you come to a stop. 
tend to uh, move around a little bit. I would expect that to be solidified in the future with uh, more software updates once they get this thing nailed down a little better. Yeah, as you can see in the screen here that it's rendering a sedan in front of us, two SUVs. Well, that's a Toyota Matrix, so it's not really an SUV, but it seems to think that's what it is. Well, there's a good amount of traffic on the highway here, so we'll hop on. And we'll see what it does. The other thing too that I noticed um, in this version of the firmware that um, rendering of the lines on the road is much smoother. Seems to see the drivable areas much better. That was revealed of course in a video that was released, uh, I think it was maybe a couple of weeks ago. Some people had um, purchased the used autopilot computer off of eBay. Turns out it was a developer mode, so they were able to uh, pull out some diagnostics and actually see what the autopilot system is able to render. So uh, it can actually not only see the lines, but it can also determine the drivable areas that are on the road. So that's one of the reasons why it's rendering a little better. All right, so let's engage autopilot here and auto steer. Let's take it down to uh, a little more of a legal limit here. There is a sedan approaching me on the left-hand side. You should see it being rendered now. Yep. And another car. Now there's a minivan coming up behind me right now. So let's see how that renders. Yeah, correctly rendering. Like last night when I was driving, if um, small SUVs or vans came up on my left-hand side, um, it would always be a sedan. Now, here's another SUV. Let's just see if it renders it correctly once it determines. See, the odd time, it'll think it's a sedan when it's actually an SUV. And there's the odd time, it'll actually... Yeah, see, it just changed on the screen. So sometimes it's like, oh, oh, that's an SUV, and then it changes on the, on the screen. It's a little bit schizophrenic. But then again, you know, neural networks are kind of like that. They're tagging and categorizing objects on the screen or that it sees in real life and trying to determine what it is. It's quite fascinating. All right, let's see if we can take this exit. I'm going to slow down just a tiny little bit, and I will put the blinker on once it sees the line in the right-hand lane. And come on, autopilot. There we go. Let's see if it takes the exit. Uh, see, it freaked out. It decided not to take that exit. That's weird. It did the same thing last night. Hmm. Well, we'll go up and take the next one. Previously, I would take that exit, and autopilot would just stay in the lane, and off it went. Now, I don't know if that's because Drive On Nav is not here anymore. going to chalk it up to maybe that's what it is at this point. Maybe that's part and parcel to the system. We'll try it again at the next exit. Well, I was kind of hoping to run into a semi-truck or a motorcycle for you uh, to be able to see what how it renders on the screen. Uh, this morning when I took a little drive in my neighborhood, it did render people. It actually saw some people that were walking kind of on the side of the street. All right, here's another exit. Let's see if it uh, takes this time. Yeah, so I'm gonna have to override here and we'll take this exit.
yeah, that's a little disappointing. I was hoping that uh, it would take that off ramp. Alright, so we're going to hop back onto the highway. This time I'm going to try auto steer here on the on-ramp and see how well it does. Alright, we're in the acceleration lane now and it's uh, taking its sweet time accelerating. Let's uh, do a left-hand turn here, and you'll see here in the screen that it shows the uh, broken line. It's dutifully changing lanes, so I'll stay there. So there's a car coming up on my left hand side. I'm going to initiate a lane turn so that you can see the uh, blind spot detection show you that there's a car coming into the next lane here. So I'm going to turn it on and uh, yeah, you'll see a red line, broken line. It will not change lanes until it feels that the car is clear and then it will gently move over into this lane. In some ways I think the blind spot monitoring really should have some kind of audible cue as well because looking at the screen in my opinion a bit distracting um, I don't want to have to always look down I'd rather have some kind of auto audio cue or maybe a buzzing here's another car coming up let's try it again once this guy gets past me There we go. I'll put it as a turn. It is not letting me. Oh, see, it just moved. So there's another car coming up behind me. It determined that I uh, wasn't going to take that turn, even though it didn't necessarily show red. Now that it's clear, it should move over. Yeah, it hesitated. It saw the car and it said, no, no, I'm not doing that change. All right, let's uh, accelerate a little bit here so that we're not upsetting the people. Let's do it one more time. There's a car right there in my blind spot on the right-hand side. And he's not backing off. So as you can see here, the car is not interested in going in the other lane because it determines that there's another car there. So let me get past him a little bit. Auto steer was off. There we go. All right, here's my exit. I'm gonna slow down a little bit and just see if we can get the lane change to come up and see if we can get into this lane again. Let's see if it'll take it this time. Sees the line, it is not taking the exit. 
it is not interested in the least on taking that exit. All right, so we're just going to slow down here. Okay, let's try this again. We're going to do the auto steer here in the exit. Slowing down, slowing down, slowing down. It's not coming to a full stop. Again, I don't expect this version of autopilot to recognize uh, street lights or street signs yet. That is something that is, of course, a requirement for full self-driving. It would be nice to be able to see it in enhanced autopilot eventually. I would hope that they add that, but we'll, we'll know in the future once that becomes a reality. Well, there you go. I just wanted to give you a little demonstration of uh, what the new autopilot looks like during the day because it certainly is better at determining what's around you during the daylight hours compared to my drive last night. And uh, this time, because my dash cam is working, this is a Blackview 650, by the way. It's a little older, but um, I think the quality should speak for itself. So if you're looking for a dash cam situation, the one in the Tesla is serviceable but it doesn't have cloud features. It doesn't have always on functions. As I mentioned last night, for those of you who are looking for something that does uh, vandalism protection, the um, Tesla one is not good for that. Again, it's a, just a software update away from Tesla being able to add those type of features. Elon did confirm that that was something that they were going to add in the near future. So uh, for those of you who are looking for a good dash cam for the time being, you can't go wrong with the black views. I really like it. Having both, yeah, extra safety net. So uh, we'll go home and we'll pull the footage off and uh, we'll have a look at it. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. And um, we'll see you in the next video. Thanks for watching.